as a side question, so TA starting in the US as a policy advisory tool, as you mentioned before, whereas Europe, Europe for me seemed to have taken TA, um, taken root um, as a way to deal with the complexities of new information technology and its impact. So for me, TA in the US, at least in the early days, was more about power. I could be wrong, power. Whereas, whereas in the in Europe, it seems to be more about problem solving, and therefore, it seems to have have had a much more enduring presence uh, today in terms of aiding policy making and innovation development. Is that understanding correct? <laughs> Because uh, like you mentioned before, both TA and RI originated in the US, but it's not that present, they're not leading as much as Europe, European countries. This is a very, very interesting question, Xiaoan. Very interesting. And I guess it has something to do with the innovation culture. In the United States, there is a very strong entry, entrepreneurial um, innovation culture. Um, a small group of people can develop huge industries. We saw this in the development, in the fast development of the Silicon Valley uh, companies in the last decades. Um, while in Europe, innovation processes are more decentralized, more um, multicultural in a sense, yeah, uh, because Europe is very diverse in itself. And um, in Europe, there is more um, the, the, the relative significant significance of common good issues of uh, political dimension is uh, is higher. Okay. So while, while in the uh, United States, it's more the neoliberal uh, idea that the companies will do best if they will not be disturbed by the state. In uh, most European states, uh, we say, well, Companies are fine, but there must be some regulations of the market because the market alone will not be able to take care for, let me say, privacy for climate change and some of these big issues. Yeah. And I guess in the TA, in its policy advising form, parliament, parliamentary TA, for example, fits better to the European understanding of innovation. That might be the explanation for this movement. Mm 